So, Blender 2.8 just got VR support. Um, sort of. It, it's still in like a very early preview state, so it's it doesn't work with all headsets. It only works with the Oculus and the Windows Mixed Reality. Um, I happen to have an Oculus right here. Uh, camera's over here, I believe. <laughs> Hello. Um, but uh, I took this opportunity since I already have an Oculus. Um, why not just see what it's like? And I also apologize for holding the mic like this. It's um, It might distort the audio a little bit, but it's the best setup I've got right now. Uh, my mic stand broke, so I, I have no chance of having a mic in a good spot without holding it. So, anyway. Um, as you can see, um, I am able to view my models in VR now. Um, within Blender. Uh, <laughs> um, like I could technically export this to some other piece of software to do that, but... Uh, my models don't really play nice with other software. Like it's, I built these models specifically for Blender anyway. But it's weird looking at your own model when it's to scale. Um, because what I see is a model that looks very small, but also very large at the same time. Um, because when I stand up straight, I'm just towering above this model, as it should. Because it's a quadruped, for heaven's sake. It's... A tiny pony but its head is massive and I knew this but seeing it in VR makes it it, it just puts it into perspective like I knew it was this large already like I, I know it's a large head it's supposed to be but it, <sighs> the head is so large and it despite me knowing that I just now realize how big it is if do you do you get what i mean like it's it's just a new perspective when you see it in a space where you can actually look at it with your own your own eyes in 3d space and not on a computer screen basically um it's quite cool but yeah this is quite a neat feature to have now um unfortunately i have to have windows 10 up for this and i actually don't prefer to use windows 10 it's a little inconvenient but oculus only works on windows 10 so <laughs> that that's that's what i have to use so i can't like use this while i work if i'm still just using my main windows 8 operating system or 8.1 i should say because it'd be nice to have access to vr whenever i need it so when i need to like just look at my model from a different perspective just to get and basically kind of a, it's kind of weird for me to say this but like it's a new fresh set of eyes looking at the model in a sense because you just see the model in a completely different way than you do on a computer screen. But yeah, the main takeaway is just the new perspective I get. It's quite crazy. Again, how how much I just tower above it. Like, I'm just so tall. Um, I'm about... Pinky's about here. Um, I don't even think my floor level is quite adjusted right. I think I'm going through the floor a little bit. Like, if I were to put my head below the floor, yeah, a little bit. So... I'm a bit shorter in this VR scene than I am in real life, but I'm still towering over this, this pinky model. But you also have a gigantic head. That doesn't look very realistic, but it's very cartoony. But it's just... It, in VR, it's just different. It's hard to... It's hard to convey this, because you're just seeing this on a computer screen, too. Anyway, yeah, that's basically just what I wanted to show. Just the weird, different perspective change I get when I view my own models, view my own creations. In, in VR. It, it feels weird, but really cool at the same time. I'll see what I can do to use this more as a tool just to observe my models in a new in a new way. I just puts things into perspective as in terms of scale especially. I don't have much uh, walking space here so I'm it's a bit crowded. I think it takes up a lot of space in my room so like I can't take a step back really except like right here maybe and like kneel. Kind of. I'm hitting my bed. But yeah, um, it's really cool. I think I'm rambling, so I'm just going to stop it there. I will, I'll see you guys later. Ugh.